Hi guys. Let's go. It's day three here in Washington, D.C. Another gorgeous day. Thanks again to the weather gods for giving us just amazing weather. Was that the Capitol Police? <laughs> you gotta see the last video for that one. So today we are going to a museum that we've heard a lot of really good things about, the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're going to go to the Renwick uh, Museum, which we haven't heard as much about because we are looking for things that are a little bit off the beaten path or um, something that you won't necessarily hear about on um, YouTube or on the internet quite yeah. as much. I did do a little reading and purported to either be the first museum in Washington, D.C. or the first art museum in Washington, D.C. Ooh, so. that's, that's exciting. Anyway, so we'll check that out and hopefully uh, they've got AC. Yeah, uh, and we're about to jump on the metro, so we're taking the green to the what? Green to the blue, the other direction. Is blue. Oh, uh, that'll that'll be fun. Easy enough. So here we go. Are you still giddy with excitement about the public transportation here in D.C.? We waited less than one minute for the first train, and it says we're going to wait. Well, now it's four minutes. It was six minutes for the second train. Oh, we're getting on the orange. I thought we were going to get on the blue. Uh, no, the orange is going to get here faster. They both go to the same place. Oh. Awesome. This may have been a bad idea because we're walking along and we think we see where we're supposed to go. Which is then, over there. Which is over there. But then right in front of us, it's like, well, that looks interesting. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff around here. Ooh, look at that church over there. <laughs> This is a knowledge seeker's paradise. There are so many museums and things to learn in a very small area. You might have noticed some tension in our last video and I talked about it a little bit in the um, post that I did, I think on Facebook, this way. Look, look at how well we're getting along. Um, this is... It works great when you just do what I tell you. <laughs> Which is not very often. Um, so communication is always something that Zeke and I have struggled with. We try to be very intentional, but oftentimes it feels like we're speaking different languages. What? Yeah, exactly. I'll, if you didn't notice in the last video, I asked a question and he answered a completely different question. And let me tell you, that is not uncommon. And um, sometimes it leads to some friction, especially if we are hungry and tired, jet lagged, as we are on this trip. The good news is we always work it out, right? So far, <laughs> 28 years. But it is something that working together, living together, traveling together, doing things that are uncomfortable together, um, we're, sometimes we get out of sync. We were a little out of sync for the first couple days of this trip. Hopefully we are back in sync. And if not, we will get back in sync. So the National African American Museum, Museum of History and Culture. Yeah. It's quite the name, but it's quite the place because we only saw maybe half of it. Oh, and I it know. It was stunning. So, down on the main concourse level is uh, everything from slavery to the civil rights movement. What we ended up doing was going up to level two and level three and seeing the cultural. Um, exhibits and art. Of course, my focus was on women. Poor woman overheard me say, this should be part of our basic education or basic history education. And the fact that it isn't is total bullshit. And she just kind of looked at me and kind of nodded. Um, the fact that this is separated out um, makes my heart both happy and sad. Happy because it, it shines a light and gives a focus. So we were able to focus exclusively on the African-American culture and history. At the same time, it should be fully integrated.
have to come back another time so that we can go down and see the concourse level and also see if the sports section, especially the Olympic, Olympic section, is updated to reflect the amazing, I'm going to say the black women of the Olympics, um, but the there's so much more to be said about the contributions of black people in the United States of America. So I'd like to see come back and see if they up, uh, update that. So we just got done with the Renwick uh, Museum, which is part of the Smithsonian. Originally, I thought that it was a private museum. It was going to cost something, but no, it's part of the Smithsonian. So there's no fee to get in. It's a relatively small museum. And as you said, it's one of the oldest art museums in Washington, D.C. That's what they said. Very cool. On the first floor was an exhibit called Subversive Skilled Sublime Fiber Arts by Women. And that was a pleasant surprise to have it all be uh, women artists. And then we ascended the stairs and there was this gorgeous installation Very up cool. in the top. I guess when there was uh, an earthquake in 2011, it knocked the earth off its axis and we lost 1.8 milliseconds of time in the day as a result of that. That explains why I was late that day. <laughs> All right, there's two very important things that I always have to have. One is a hat in this sunny weather. Two is my SPF 50, which is also a moisturizer and a bronzer. But only thing more important to that is getting subscribers to our channel. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that you needed a snack. Yeah, yeah, I could do a snack and a glass of wine. Let's go. Let's go. Zeke, do you feel better? That was good food. Try not to trip down the stairs as we record this. Woo! It's warm. And getting ready for a day of adventure with our son's friend Emma. Who's awesome. my friend too? I'm I'm not her friend. <laughs> I refuse. Um, but it's going to be hopefully mostly by the water, uh, checking out the Potomac, checking out Alexandria. Uh, and if that ends up being a complete bust, we're going to turn to Emma, who lives here and has for the last five years. Um, see if she has any suggestions. Met up with our friend Emma in Noma. Yep. Yep. Part of DC. Noma is super cute, super happening, and uh, I can see why she lives there. It seems to be a great place for someone in your uh, low 20s. Reminds me of kind of when we moved to San Francisco in our mid 20s. took a water taxi, which always makes me happy, and it's right by the DCA airport, and we got to see planes just taking off and flying over us, which also makes me super happy. We are in Alexandria, Virginia. Now it's time for food, because we're all a little bit hungry and a little bit parched, and we need to find something that's not super touristy, has some good locally sourced foods with veggies or McNuggets. Alexandria was lovely. We walked around, we branched out and found whiskey and rye. We sat at the bar, so we had a quick adult beverage and uh, then we had a snack and then walked about half an hour away, even further away from the touristy area through some beautiful, beautiful neighborhoods to Hank's Oysters and they had a uh, dining on the roof, which was very cool. Yeah, and fortunately, no mosquitoes as far as I could tell. No mosquitoes, uh, Really great service, and six different types of oysters. Five of them were from the East Coast, one was from Washington, all sorts of different types. Uh, creamy, briny, um, and just super mellow. And they even had their own proprietary oyster, which I don't think I'd ever seen that concept before. You do that. And then we had a bunch of vegetables, which made both of us happy. While we were on our way back, we stumbled through the World Food Festival. It was, it's always so much fun to stumble into these kinds of things in um, communities, because these were definitely not tourists. These were people who 
live in the area. We really lucked out with the weather. Once we got back on the boat, we sat up top and we switched sides so that we could see the airport and we could see the, the other side of the river. But we made it back to the wharf, which is a boom in place in the afternoon evenings. When we were coming through getting onto the boat, it wasn't as busy, it was very nice. Very but casual. Coming back, I think there's a concert going on, there's mm -hmm. a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of people playing, they've got some fountains the kids were jumping in the water in. Tons of rest, I mean like Hell's Kitchen is there and another Gordon Ramsay um, restaurant. It, it really is a destination mm -hmm. and with the metro station not too far away and with it looked like ample parking, it really does seem to be a destination, not just for tourists, but for locals alike. And that's, once again, something that we really like, is we like to experience places that um, are not just for the tourists. Yeah, and there's a metro stop that comes straight back to our neighborhood. Oh, that so that does it for days three and four. If you would like to get a postcard from the road, I've picked up some really fun ones. If you go to our website at zeganterry.com and, and subscribe to our newsletter, and then send us an email at zekanterry at gmail.com with your physical address, then I can go ahead and get uh, at least one or two postcards out to you from our DC trip. All right, thanks. We'll see you again next week. Put it in the can, let's go. Funny. Oh, there's a slot. I thought it was just like locked or something.